Hi, this is Ryan from Finale Inventory, and today we're making a video on how to audit your stock within Finale Inventory. So the very first thing we're going to do is navigate to our stock screen. Now what you'll see is this is a product that we are going to be playing today. I've created this product today and this will be uh, our demonstration. So essentially we don't have any quantity on hand. I am showing on order units because I created a quick purchase order before uh, this actual video took place. Now when I open the gear icon, what you're going to notice is I am signed in as user Alex. So we're going to be doing the first few transactions with user Alex, and then we will transfer to another user to show you generally what a stock audit, audit looks like. Now, when we go to purchasing and purchase orders, this is the purchase order that I already have pre-created here. So we have our red wagon with a quantity of 10. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is go over to our shipment here, and I'm just going to use this link, and that's going to update our order to match our shipment. So I'm going to go ahead and receive this. And this will bring 10 units into our warehouse. So I'm going to go back to the purchase order and complete that. So at this point, if I were to go to my view stock page, what I would see is that I have 10 QOH of this specific product. Now that was the first transaction that we've done with Alex. I'm also going to do another transaction, which is going to be a quick transfer. This would be fine with any batch transfer, but a quick transfer will demonstrate this for us. So I'm going to search for that same red wagon. I can see that I have 10 in A1. I want to transfer four of these items and I want to transfer them to A2. I can also enter a note, uh, you know, for example, did not fit in A1. Uh, so that's just an example of a quick note you can add in there. So once I commit that transfer, um, we will see that in our stock screen. So if I were to open up my details here, I can see that I have two different sublocations, A1 and A2, with six in A1 and four in A2. Now at this point, what I'm going to do in this video is I am going to sign out and I'm going to jump into this account with another user. So I'll log out and I'm just going to go right back into this account and log in. So now I just want to note that I am under user Ryan at this point. So now at this point, we've already done a purchase. We've brought our inventory in. We have done a transfer. Uh, within our own warehouse to another location and now i'm just going to quickly create a sale for us to send out the door so i'm going to create the sales order we can select our customer i'm going to ignore a lot of these other details because we are showing the stock audit and what we can do is just type in our red wagon red wagon and maybe we just sold two of those so at that point i can mark this committed and at, and I'm going to jump right into our shipments tab and I'm going to say that we ship these out. So I specifically want to ship these out of a two so I can deplete this sub location. So once I've done that, I'll ship it out. I'm going to skip the invoice in this video as we are looking at stock audits. So I'm going to mark that sale completed. And now this is typically uh, where you may want to go take a look at, you know, what is going on with your stock. So when you come back to your stock page here and we filter down to that red wagon again, what we'll notice is that we have eight quantity on hand here and we can see our details. Now, for whatever reason, maybe you thought you had more or maybe you thought you had less, uh, you know, these are some uh, a few reasons of why companies would look at the history of a stock. So let's go over to stock history and see what happens with this red wagon. So we can use different filters here to see different record dates. Um, we can use other filters to get a little bit more granular with our search here. I know exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for that red wagon. So once I find that, now what I will see is all of the transactions uh, that have occurred with this particular item. So number one, I can see the date of the when this actually happened. If we hover um, over here, we'll be able to see our transaction user, which is Alex, for our purchase as well as our quick stock transfer. So you'll see the transaction description here of what actually happened. Um, and in addition to that, I can see also that Ryan has a uh, ship this sale out as well on the same date. So what we can also see here is our running totals. So if you look at this, our initial balance was zero. Uh, and then we brought in a purchase order, which is 10. So our resulting stock was 10. We made a transfer of four, uh, which resulted in six. And then we received that transfer in a different sub location. So we ultimately had the same 
running total here and then lastly we made a sale which reduced the stock level by two so our resulting stock quantity was eight um, now in addition to that you will be able to see some of the transaction details as well over in this section here and you can always customize this screen as well to add more information of what is pertinent to you and your business so i hope this video was helpful um, stock auditing is a process that many businesses need to do on a daily basis and finale will be able to help you with that using our stock history screen thanks for watching